When I was younger, I remember asking my mom what love really meant. I had heard people say the word, but I had never said it to anyone outside of my family. She said something along the lines of, Bridget, love is a very important word that you shouldn't say to just anyone. Love means that you be willing to die for someone, that you would put their life and happiness above and before your own. I always wondered if I would find a man who would love, spoil, and take care of me the way that my dad has. Fast forward to today and my life with you. Without me even having to ask, you do the things my dad used to do for me and more. You are my person, and I thank God every day for putting you into my life. While I'm writing this, I can't help but smile at the thought of getting to experience all of life with you. I can't wait to see you become a father and love our kids the way my dad loved me. I'm excited and grateful for everything we have to look forward to in our future together. As I stand here before you today, I can say without hesitation that I now understand what my mom was trying to explain to me that day so many years ago. Because of you, I know what it means to love and how it feels to be truly loved in return. Thank you for being my best friend and for showing me an unconditional love beyond my biggest dreams. I promise to never take you or our marriage for granted. And I promise to continue doing my best to make you feel loved every day. Today we become one, the ultimate team. Love, Bridget. Oh, love will bring you to your knees To sow seeds of grace Your heart of me of earth and sea Your eyes of time and space Bridget, you are my best friend. I never would have guessed that when we first met November 6, 2017, at the Chili's restaurant, that I would be meeting my future wife, someone I've been praying for and dreaming for for so long. I fell in love with your kindness, your humility, your faith, work ethic, your sense of humor. I'll never forget the day we first met, the day that I asked you to be my girlfriend, the day that I asked you to marry me, and most importantly, here today on our wedding day, where we become husband and wife. Together we are better than we could be alone, and I feel so blessed to know that God brought you into my life to love and care for me. As your husband, I promise to love you without reservation, to support you in your love and goals, to encourage and respect you in your successes and your failures. I prayed for you for years before I knew your name, before and I promise to continue to pray for you with that same devotion, loving what I know about you and trusting what I do not yet know. I promise to stand by your side, regardless of obstacles we may face together, how much our bodies may change or our bank account may fluctuate. I promise to work at our love and always make you a priority in my life. I adore you, Bridget, and my love is yours completely today and always. I love you forever, Brock. Like a carpenter, I carved your hands from driftwood from the deep. And I placed my veins inside your dreams to woo you while you sleep. So I'll never forget the first day that I had to start to let go of my big sister. Now, you all may laugh, but I remember we were taking a bath, and I think you were in second grade, and you looked at mom and said, Mom, I am done. I am not taking a bath with my little sister anymore. I'm big. I'm grown up. This is not going to be a thing anymore. And I remember I was heartbroken. And, you know, people talk about, you know, the loneliness of having an empty nest when your kids move out, but they don't really talk about what you go through as you watch your siblings move on in their lives. And a few years later, you were back home with me as a pharmacist working, doing great, and life was perfect. I had my best friend back. And then I get a text message from an old friend named Carson. It happened to say, is your sister seeing anyone right now? And I was like, no, she's not actually. And that eventually led to setting you and Brock up for a blind date. 
And like I said, Bridget is fearless, so she was all in on it. So these two went on that date. And uh, that night, she said, Jer, he was absolutely perfect. Like everything I've ever dreamed of in a guy, I couldn't imagine anything more. So you fast forward a few weeks, and then I got to meet Brock. And then I realized why my sister fell so head over heels. Brock was patient, caring, and the most loving guy towards Bridget. And I knew that my person had found her person. I just want you both to know that of all the accomplishments that you got to this far, Bridge, and as much as it hurts to let you go, I know that this will be the greatest accomplishment you have yet. And I cannot wait to see what the two of you have together and I know it'll be wonderful and I just am very proud of both of you and welcome to the family rock we're glad to have you so here's to many years of happiness I love you so much, man. We've been through a lot. I'm not an emotional person. I'm gonna try to keep it together, not shed a tear or anything like that. But I just wish him the best of luck in everything. I know they don't need luck because they are committed to each other. Uh, they love each other. And so what more could you ask for? They're both very, very successful in life. And Brock, from a young age, always had his sights set on doing well, whether it was in school, whether it was commitment to his family, um, his friends, and of course to this lovely lady up here. So I know they're going to thrive, they're going to do great in life, and I just wish them the best in everything. I'm glad to get a new sister. Bridget, welcome to the family. Here is a toast to Brock and Bridget on their wedding day. May you guys have a life filled with fun, family. To you two, good luck in life and everything that you do. Love you guys. For as much then as you, Brock, and you, Bridget, have offered yourselves each to the other, believing it is God's will that you become one flesh, believing that God has led you to this place as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I take great pleasure in pronouncing you husband and wife. What God hath joined together, let not man put asunder. You may kiss the bride.